live in an age where you don't have to work for connection. If you want a friend, then just click the add friend button. You want to learn something, then just go to the internet and it will show you everything. You want a date, oh that's even easier. You just swipe right and then you got, got yourself a match. So I want to ask why? Why we would ever want a genuine connection if connection can be achieved with people in an instant just like this without ever going to the trouble of talking to them in real life. After all, we humans are probably one of the most annoying creatures on earth. I have a couple of really good friends and believe me, they are the most annoying people on earth. But if I had to go through the, all the problems I had connecting with them, all the sadness, all the loneliness, all the arguments to connect with them again, I would still do it. Do you want to know why? Well, then let me tell you a story first. At the ripe old age of 12, I hated my life. I just had my school transferred to a place where I had no friends, and on top of it, I was an awkward kid who had trouble talking to other people, so I couldn't get along with my new friend. This is why I decided to live in a video game world from six to 10 hours in every day, and it was miserable living in a video game world where I had no real friends. So then my mother sent me into what I called at the time a prison, which was a children's summer camp. It was a children's summer camp with magnificent mountains that soared into the skies and a tranquil river coiling around it. And I was the only gloomy thing in that brilliant nature. So I thought to myself, well, since I'm stuck here, I might as well try to play with the other kids. Maybe this time will be different. And indeed, it was different. I made friends, and surprisingly, I discovered that I could talk to other people just normally with the little encouragements of my new friends. So I told myself, well, why stop here then? Bring it on. Give me your challenges. And Surprisingly, I was good at doing them because I discovered that I could also dance, talk to people, and ask girls out. I was killing at the disco every day, you people. And after the 10 days I spent at the children's summer camp, I felt better about myself and more competent than ever before with the help of my new friends. So let's delve further into why this particular experience made me want to stay in the real world instead of going back to my video game world. We humans as a species are social creatures. We like cozy afternoon conversations with our family, unless you're a moody teenager. We like celebrating together and we all crave love and affection from other people. And most of the times we will feel sad and lonely if we don't get these crucial social needs. And we humans thrive on emotions. And emotions are the universal language we all humans all speak. There are close to 7,000 languages in this world. So how do we understand each other through these 7,000 different languages? Well, emotions are strong. With only a little kindness shown, we are given strength to overcome any obstacles in our way. With sympathy, we can to understand each other and help those in need. And with love, 
we become better individuals than we were yesterday, not for ourselves, but for our loved ones. But for emotions to be this strong, we need the proper and genuine connections with people surrounding us. So I want to ask everyone watching this, whether it's a friend or a family member you haven't seen in a while, or a girl you want to ask, or a guy, give them a call and establish a genuine connection with them and take the first step. Thank you.